Cheers everybody, Graham from the Homebrew Network here, coming to you with another beer review from the 99 cent brews that my wife has picked up. I've gotten some feedback, a lot of you guys like these reviews and I appreciate the feedback. That being said, let's do a review. So we're doing uh, Trader Session IPA. This comes from, uh, I have no idea how to pronounce this, is it? Junta, Junta Brewing Company. Um, let's see, it comes from Salt Lake City, Utah. Earth, wind, and beer. Keep cold. Well, uh, this is probably. Uh, I grabbed it out of the. Uh, I put it in the freezer for a little bit, so hopefully it's cold enough. We got a four percent alcohol by volume, and I think I read online it's somewhere between forty-two and forty-eight IBUs. So, I do not see any sediment in the bottle, which uh, makes me think it's not, it's obviously not uh, conditioned. So, um, I think the label's pretty cool. It's got like a compass on there. So, okay. So we get it says session IPA, so I don't I don't think it's gonna be overly hoppy. It, it'll probably be just right. Ooh. That smells good. I'm getting a nice hop aroma. Combination of grapefruit, pine. Floral. Mmm. Here we go with the pour. Looks very nice. It's got a nice golden color to it. It's not dark, it's not light, it's right in the middle. You can see the carbonation is pretty good. Head, pretty good. It is an off-white, yellow. It's got a yellow hue to it. Blends in very nicely with the color of the beer. So, one more time. For your viewing pleasure. So, uh, as we said on the uh, Homebrew Network, there's specific glasses for every beer, and this is an IPA glass. Uh, someone, I believe it was Jordan Stauffer, called it uh, uh, the it's the butt plug glass. It might not have been him. He might have posted about it, and then somebody else. I think it was uh, one of the Davids <laughs> said. Because we got a lot of Davids. So, um, one of the Davids might have called it a buck plug. One of the other two. Regardless. Funny story. Little things you learn on the Homebrew Network. So, um, this glass just, um, you know, from, from the bottle, it smelled amazing. Out of this glass, it just amplifies. This glass amplifies the aroma. I'm getting a very heavy malt presence mixed in with the hop aroma. You can smell the malt and you can still smell the, the grapefruit notes, piney, uh, florally. Mm, let's just dive right in because uh, the head's still looking good. Mmm. That is very nice. Very nice. Um, getting some pine. Um, 
bit of a do taste a little bit grapefruit notes on there just like the aroma it's not overly bitter not by any means this is definitely a session IPA the title speaks for itself this beer is meant to be consumed one after another after another um, possibly getting up to go to the bathroom and then coming back for another and then another and then maybe going to the bathroom again and then another enjoy with your friends so right off the bat you get the the notes similar to the aroma um, it's uh, like I said it's not overly bitter the, the bitterness comes through in the finish. You get a little bit of that uh, hop zing to it in the end. It's kind of there in the beginning, but in the back. When it moves to the back of your mouth, it just is like this sharp bite. It doesn't stick around for very long, but it's enjoyable. It doesn't make you go, hmm, I gotta take my time with this one. Because like I said, this is a session IPA, and it really is one. So uh, halfway through, you get a multi-presence. It's not overpowering. It, uh, it's just there. You, you can taste the malt. You can taste... You can taste a little bit of caramel. Um, a little bit of a breadiness. It's got a little bit of a bread feeling to it, bread taste. So caramel bread flavoring. Um, you can taste the barley. And from the beginning to the end, mixed in with that, you get the hop notes and the bitterness to the finish. So overall, I rate this uh, IPA pretty good. Um, glass is good. Um, you can see the lacing is okay. Um, I could honestly care less about lacing, but uh, the head is still sort of there. So um, I love the head color. I love the way it transitions in, so I give that about a four. Um, it didn't stick around as long as I thought it would because it's, it's fading. It's fading fast now. Um, the color, I love the color. I, I love IPAs that aren't dark and they're not too light. Like I'm right in the middle. Um, because I've said in my previous reviews, I'm not a big dark beer fan. I enjoy them, but it doesn't mean I love them. I love this. So when I say I love this color rather than the dark one, that's what I mean. I enjoy the others, don't get me wrong. I just, I love this color better. Uh, the body feels like a light to a medium. Because it doesn't, I, it doesn't finish dry to me. And it doesn't fear, fear. It doesn't fear me because it's going in my mouth. Um, it, uh, it, it, I'd call this light to medium. Um, Good stuff. So body, I, I give the body a, a four. I like my I like my IPAs to be a little bit drier, but, but this being a session IPA, I don't think they want to dry out your palate too much. I think that's probably the whole point behind it. So, okay, that's uh, that's my pretty much overall review of the beer. Um, head I give a four, body I give a four, color I give a five. Uh, overall, I would rate this beer about a four out of five. Um, it's your straight up, as it says on the label, session IPA. Meant to be enjoyed, meant to be consumed one after another. Gotta love it. Check it out. Trader Session IPA. Go to your store, buy it. If you can't, Find a friend who can find it for you because it's amazing. So that's all I got for you. If you want more reviews, if you want more videos, if you want to meet new people who are in the brewing world or do beer reviews, go to the Homebrew Network on Facebook 
or you can go to www.thehomebrewnetwork.com. We've got things from calculating stuff for your beers. Uh, we're talking about your IBUs. We're talking about um, ABV. We're talking about that. It's on its way to being there completely. Uh, Rick Betting, the gatekeeper, awesome. Dude, you are great. Love the Netherlands because you, you should be the liaison for that country, buddy. So um, we, got, uh, we got that going on. We got beer reviews going on. We got cellar dwellers going on. Cellar dwellers, gash slug, all those things going on combined. People from all over the world, check it out. You'll be glad you did. Cheers. Good night. Enjoy. I know I will.